everybody, and welcome back to In Person Quiz Show. This is episode five. All four episodes are on MCTV HD <laughs> YouTube channel. You are on right now if you want to go check those out. But if you've already seen those, welcome to our show. We've got a great show for you tonight. I've got Val, Danny, and Jacqueline hey. here. Say hi, guys. Hey. Hi, hi guys. You guys, ready for, you guys ready for a good show today? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. So we say We say we keep the viewers at home waiting, or you say we get right into it? I say we get right, right into it. it. Get right into it. All right, I like that energy. Get into All right. it. As you guys know, we're going to our first buzz around. This first question is going to be oh. worth 50 points. If you want to get your game show buzzers out. Okay. From the category of movies, oh. I ask you, which 2008 oh. film kicked off the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Buzzers are live. Val was quick to buzz in with that. Um, Iron Man. Iron Man is the correct I answer. That, actually. Val starts off with a quick 50 points. Yeah. Next, I ask you guys for 25 points, clearing your buzzers from sports and games. Which NBA player is nicknamed the King? <laughs> buzzers are live. Val again, quick to buzz. I have in. no idea. I'm gonna guess <laughs> Michael Jordan. I don't Michael Jordan's a good guess. Unfortunately, incorrect. <laughs> buzzers are live once again. Danny or Jacqueline want to try to steal that one? Danny's buzzed in. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is a good guess, oh. unfortunately, incorrect. <laughs> You're real confident about that. Jacqueline, do you want to give this one a guess or do you want to just move do, on? Do I get any points? You will get 25 points if you get right. <laughs> um, Come on, the king. I think I know, but it's it Steph be? Curry. Steph Curry is also a good guess. Val, you think you know? Oh, yeah. Can I? You can say it for no points. Shaquille O'Neal. Also wrong. <laughs> the answer is LeBron James. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Also known they have the vibe too. Just Doesn't Shaq have? Um, never mind. Sorry, but guys. We're moving on to round one. Don't worry, guys. We're moving. <laughs> our first category tonight <laughs> is literature. Remember, these are all worth oh, 100 cycle. points. Literature. So Damn. See, yep, still start starting off strong. Oh boy. Now I'm coming to you. I ask you: In Harry Potter and the Goblet of oh. Fire, oh. who takes her money to the Yule Ball? Victor Crumb. Victor Crumb is the correct answer. World famous. Quidditch Actually, player. just watch that movie. So. Obviously, not the best movie. What? Best oh, book. Really? Not the best movie. What? Um, I don't think it's that like great an adaptation. Oh, I, I, I think can't. the book is a little oh. better. You're right. Oh. I think it is. I think it's like, better. They but changed I, the, I do like the book. They changed it. They changed it a lot. That yeah. movie's my favorite. But Danny, I'm coming to you for your own literature question. All right. I ask you: What is the name of Katniss's main love interest in the Hunger Games series? Uh, Peter Malark. Peter Malark is the correct Good answer. Oh my God, I'm gonna get it wrong. Scores you 100 points. Nice. Jacqueline, you seem excited about that question. No, I'm gonna get it wrong. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Confidence is key, Jacqueline. I ask you for literature. <laughs> Who wrote the book Charlie and the Chocolate oh, Factory? Oh, I think I know. Wait, 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 I, wait. I, I know this. I actually know this, I think. I don't remember his name. How much time do I have? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, I don't know. There are no negative points, so it doesn't hurt to throw a guess at Um, there. um, yeah, just guess. Oh my God. I, I don't remember his name. Not sure. That's all right. No, Val, I'm <laughs> coming to you for the guys, steal. This is embarrassing. John Steinbeck. I don't John know. Steinbeck is not I the correct I'm answer. sorry. I don't know. I'm it's not. It's like the two. Oh. Is, isn't it? Um, can I guess for no points? You can. It's on is, the screen. Is it the roll? Oh, which guy? Yes, oh, yeah. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, yes. I would have yes. never oh. gotten that. Oh, I'm so mad. No, sorry, guys. I'm not. I'm not. Good old Jack. We'll come back to you in a couple questions. John Steinbeck. We don't have steam to that guy. Don't worry. We will. But Val, I'm coming to you first. Oh, God. Your second literature question of the night is. In the Twilight series, what is the name of the powerful vampire coven that enforced the vampire? The Volturi. The Volturi are correct. Val is off to a hot start. Let's go. Because I know my freaking Twilight. I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> Danny, let's see if you know your question. <laughs> I ask you, who was King Arthur's wife in the legend of King Arthur? <laughs> wait, wait. I, I might... Seems like she is not as confident about that one. I guess, I, I guess I think Twilight. of medieval names. I don't know. Um, King Arthur's wife? Correct. <laughs> I'm going to go with um, Mary. Mary is a good guess, unfortunately. <laughs> Everyone's named Mary. Yeah, I was the gonna... one time they're not, <laughs> the one time I get they're the not question. Is this question, She got the Voltori and I got Mary. <laughs> you think Voltori is easier than Mary? Yes! She, she has like, oh, she talks about his Twilight. I mean, it's a, good, a, it's a, good, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. Jack, let's see if you get the steal here. If it's not Mary, uh, there's only so many other names here. it could be. There's like three. Merida. Merida's That's also a really good guess. Good guess. Mary was close. The answer is Guinevere. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say Glinda. Oh, Glinda really would have been closer. Right? Oh, really? <laughs> who, wrote, who wrote that? Jack, don't worry. I'm coming right back to you. Your own literature question. I hate that. I ask you which character smokes from a hookah in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? <laughs> Very glad it's already mad and it's only round is, one. Is it? Oh, oh, it's in my room, Jacqueline. Is it bad that I, I don't, don't know, know if it's still mad at your cat or that centipede thing? It's okay. We, we go back. <laughs> we go back a while. I don't know. It's just, um, the Cheshire Cat. I don't know. Cheshire Cat is a good guess, unfortunately, incorrect. No, I know it's the other Val, thing. Val, um, coming from Steel. Hookah? Uh, okay. Let me let me think. Not the Mad Hatter, right? Is that your final guess? <laughs> yes. It is not the Mad Hatter. It's the cat of 
I'm sorry. I don't know that it was that a long time. I haven't seen it in a long time. Its name was the caterpillar. Technically, it also the caterpillar smoked from a hookah. Yeah, I knew that that was the answer, but I didn't know that was his name. It's in that Jefferson Airplane song. It's, it's really? even included in the Disney movie, which is a little odd. So sorry, no, I guys, know. I haven't that's seen it. Yeah, that's the only reason why. Oh, but don't God. worry, we will come back to you okay. as we are moving on to our to. second category of round one. Still worth 100 points. Oh we're moving on to TV now. Is this buzzing? Or? Nope, this is oh. still just the regular round. So Val, I'm coming to you first. Oh, God. T from TV, I ask you, where does the television okay. show Cheers mostly take place? Boston. Boston is the correct answer. Can what I get a little that? more specific? What is that? It's not, is it in a bar? Yes, Cheers is the name of the bar that is located in Boston. Val, Val is. Guys, I think, I'm three doing for three amazing right now. right now. Danny, let's see if you can follow that. I don't want Your own TV, TV question. I don't even watch TV, man. I ask you, what product did Lucy try to sell during a commercial on the show I Love Lucy? Um, Very famous scene from that show. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, so if I was Lucy and I was famous, I would probably try to sell. Um, eggs. <laughs> eggs is a good guess, unfortunately, incorrect. I, Jacqueline, do you want to take a crack at I this? It's not eggs. Know, like lipstick? <laughs> not I eggs. Oh, lipstick, that's final what answer. women do. Sure. Unfortunately, also incorrect. Val, you know it. Is it chocolate? No, you don't know. Okay. <laughs> the answer is Vitamina Vegemin. Never would have. That's not I'm even sorry. like very famous. I'm sorry, anyway. guys. It's like, it's like this elixir guys, that's supposed to help you lose weight or something, but it's Come way on. too alcoholic and she just gets drunk while she films the commercial. That's really funny. Very famous scene. That's chocolate really is funny. also a famous bit in I Love Lucy. Right? It's like the. Try to wrap yeah, it's, it's the guy from Drake and Josh. Josh. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, Jacqueline, come to you for your own TV question. I ask you. In the show The Big Bang oh, Theory, where is the character Penny a waitress? What? <laughs> not, not a big Big Bang Theory fan. No. I've seen this show. <laughs> um, Outback. Outback. That's what they get. Unfortunately, incorrect. Uh, now you get a chance for the steal here. Applebee's. Applebee's. Also, also not a bad guess. The answer is the Cheesecake Factory. Okay. Oh, so it is okay. a real establishment. Like, okay. Yes. Yeah, I would have guessed Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse would have also been a good guess. But, Val, I'm coming right back oh, to you God. for your second TV question. So like, how, how did I guess that? I ask you, oh. what year did Sesame Street first air on what is now known as PBS? Is, is this like 1967? 1967 is a good guess. Close, unfortunately. Incorrect. Oh, Danny, you get a chance to steal this one. Uh, 1971. 1971 just overshot it a little bit. Who 1969. Knows that? Damn, I should have guessed that. Answer. If, if everyone knew it, this wouldn't be a fun I show. I always go but for 16 who know that? Someone now. I was so close. Oh my you God. You guys were both just two years off. Yeah. Danny, I'm yeah, coming for your own question now. Awesome. Really I ask you, things. what cartoon has a friend group of characters oh. named Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup? Is that like the Powerpuff Girls? That is like the Powerpuff why Girls. Why couldn't I get the like the question? Come well, Jacqueline, let's see what you get for your own it's question now. Ass. TV, <laughs> I ask you, what actress lied about her age in order to get a role in the That 70s oh, Show? Oh, you know Mila what? Kunis? Mila Kunis yeah. is the correct answer. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the only I know! That was great. That is correct. I forgot she was when uh, producers asked her how old she was, she said, I'll be 18 on my birthday. She never specified which birthday. She was like 14. Wait, didn't like oh Ashley Ashley Kutcher like did her chemistry homework? I can't believe I got a question. That sounds right. about right because yeah. she was in like oh, high school. Oh, I remember. I, still got a I saw that. It's it's way creepier to think I, about. Yeah, because now they're married. Now, yeah, knowing that they're married now, that they met they're, when she was like oh, 14. Right. Yeah. Wait, how yeah, old was he? He was like not 18. 14. He was yeah. definitely like he was an of adult age to be on. Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, on TV. Oh, awesome. But that does wrap up round one. So at the end of round one, let's take a look at the scores. As you can see, Val has jumped into first place with 325 points. Danny is in a close second with 200. That's not close. Jacqueline not far behind with 100. <laughs> Don't worry, we've got two more buzzer questions coming up. Oh, and remember, God. round two is worth double the points. Thank God. So it's still anybody's game. If you guys want to get your buzzers out, <clears throat> buzz around. They're out, brother. Your first question. Oh, is everyone ready? Yep. <sighs> first question from the category music. Which song did Taylor Swift recently release the 10 minute version of? Buzzer Live, Danny was quick with that one. Oh, fuck. All Too Well. All Too Well is the, the correct answer. It wouldn't even like, let me hit it. it. Danny snags those 150 points. I hate Taylor Swift. Don't worry, I'm clearing your buzzers now. You've got a second question coming up. Wait, this also buzzer. From the category of TV, to South Park takes place in which US state? <laughs> Buzzers are live. Now was quick sorry, buzzer. I don't know. I got. I have no idea. Connecticut. I don't know. Connecticut is a good guess. Unfortunately, incorrect. No so buzzers go live, and Danny was quick with that one. Um, Massachusetts. Also a good guess. I've also never seen that one. Jacqueline, you got a shot. Indiana. Indiana. Unfortunately, what is incorrect. It? Answer is Colorado. Oh. Oh wait. It takes place that, in that a fictional town in a real place. South Park's lame. Yeah, I don't like South Park. 
Sorry yeah, to whoever not, wrote not the a question. Fan. I don't not like it. I'm not a fan of Colorado. Not they a fan shouldn't of make South that many Florida. seasons. Uh, both. They're like children. That's, you know what? That's fair. My cousin moved to Colorado. I miss him. Well, is he in the show South Park? We're in Colorado. No, but he's a conspiracy theorist. He probably fit in well then. Yeah. Yeah. But we're moving on to round two. If you guys want to get rid of those buzzers, yeah, I'm getting okay. Rid of it. We are going to start off round two with movies. Okay. So remember, these are all worth 200 points. So okay. it's still a very close game right now. So Val, oh. I'm coming to you for your first question from movies. Oh I ask you, what sport got Forrest Gump, Gump into <laughs> college? Football. Football is the correct answer. I thought it was track. He ran and he did not stop running. That. Track would have been a good guess because he ran. Because he yeah. ran since the end. Yeah. yeah. And that's the he ran I, straight I through the end movie. zone, straight through the tunnel, mm -hmm. and he never stopped. And then people follow him. Exactly. But Danny, I'm coming to you for your movie's question. All right. So if you know this one, I ask you, who has been thanked in speeches the most at the Academy Awards? Um, God. God is a good guess. <laughs> How is it not God? Incorrect. Everybody thinks Oh, I him. thought he was acting like what actor? No. Oh, what well, person? A prop, a prop. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a second shot. To what be person? fair, that was okay. What person has been? Um, I'm gonna say, is it like like one specific person's name? No, don't Correct, give her any hints. Yes. No, 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 because like I feel like it could be like like yeah, like the show's yeah, it could be, or It's something. a broad yeah. question, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Beyonce. Beyonce has not been thanked the most at the Academy Awards. That's okay. As a good guess is though, it? Jacqueline, you get a chance to steal this. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, also a that very good guess. Oh. She has, I believe, been nominated for the most Academy Awards. Um, the answer is Steven Spielberg. Oh. Has been nominated. I was gonna say no, Martin Scorsese. That was on the tip of my tongue. For, Forty-two times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. But okay, Steven. Isn't he a director? Jacqueline, yeah. we are coming to you for he your first question. So good. So I ask you, what was the first feature film to be released with synchronized sound? I don't know what that means. So sound as we know it today, that you watch the movie and there's dialogue with it. The first like sound movie. No, first I, sound I, movie. no I got that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think, I, I think I, I'm think gonna I, guess. No guess? No, no, Wizard of Oz, that's color. Wizard of Oz is a good guess. Fine. Yes, that was one of the first this type is, of color no, films. This now, is just not a good guess, but Psycho? Psycho is unfortunately incorrect. The answer is the jazz singer. Oh. oh, wait, yeah. you, you saw this that? in class or something. Um, I, 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 I learned about it. I thought it was the one that w where they did blackface. Oh, no, they probably did it blackface. It is, yes. No, it is the one where they do blackface. Of course. It's not, yeah, it's I'm not sure the best What's that um, but it's America story. one? It was like, like where, where they, they did stuff with America and like war or something. I know what you're talking about. And it's, it's not that one. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Can't remember the name. But we're moving on. Val, oh. you've got your movie's question. I ask you, Robert Redford and Paul Newman starred together in which 1969 cowboy film? Um... I have no idea. Let me let me let me think about it. Hmm. You got a couple of seconds take to come your up. Time. Oh, yeah. I forgot I was timed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just because of Michelle, I'm guessing this. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> How <laughs> confident are you about that? Shout out I'm not confident at all. Because it is incorrect. Um, I, that was just um, me speculating. I'm gonna say High Noon. High Noon is a good guess. Oh. Unfortunately, incorrect. Answer was Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Oh, yeah. 1969. Of course. <laughs> Jack, don't worry. We're coming to you soon. Oh, we'll no. see if maybe your question's a little on the easier side. That's pretty close. But Danny, first, I ask you, which director brother's filmography includes No Country for Old Men, oh. Raising Arizona, and Fargo? Oh, come on. <laughs> I wish there was like multiple so choice. All I have to say is a film major reasons. wrote these questions because I don't know any of them. <laughs> I know. I'll know when I hear it, but I don't you think can know. Right? Any guess, Danny? No, I have no guess. No guess? No guess at all. Jacqueline, you want to take a crack at that for the steal? No. No, no guess? Uh, no. No, no, there's no guess. Danny, you're going to kick yourself when you hear this. Just the Coen Brothers. Oh, uh, yeah. For I was ready Big for Lebowski. that. Yeah. Um, I'm right. even said, I'm like, you Joe, that. Joel, but like, I didn't yeah. know them. If this was an easy question. Okay, Danny, it was hard. It was a hard Let's question. see, Jacqueline, if you can get this You'll question, I ask you, Don't worry. which David Fincher movie has a Brad Pitt character know. ask, what's in the box? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Famous scene from a famous movie. Oh, is it? Any guess? No. No guess? Val, you get a oh, chance for a steal. Is this Fight Club? Fight Club is a good guess. Also, David Fincher flick, also starring Brad Pitt. The answer is seven. Oh, I'm I will not, not spoil what's in the box. I'm not even gonna lie, I've never even heard of that movie. Kind of a huge deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. It kind of foreshadows what kind of guy Kevin Spacey was. Oh, oh. We're not gonna get into that. Another day. Oh. We're moving into history now. This okay. is still round two, so there's still 200 Damn. points. Okay, okay, okay. Val, oh. yep, coming to you first. Val, I ask you. What year was Jamestown found? Guys, come on. Um, like the your first settlement in America. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Um, let me, like, <laughs> do you guys know? I have no idea. Uh, I, have I, have a, I have a ballpark. <laughs> Whenever. Now, I need a guess. Um, um, the, if, 
the 1600. I don't know. Yeah, a little more specific than that? The 1600. 1628. 1628 is unfortunately correct. <laughs> Danny, you're thinking hard over there. Uh, I have a chance uh, to steal this one. Uh, I'm going to go with um, 1605. 1605 is very, very close. If it's six 1607. I was going to say 1607. <laughs> I, I didn't want to I give need it a away. Chance. The Library of Alexandria. I'm gonna say uh, Alexandria. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Any I'll guess? take a fun guess. I'll say Paul Revere. Paul Revere <laughs> is a fun guess. Is he in the right ballpark? No, at least I don't think. I so. can tell you no. <laughs> no way. Probably Jacqueline, some old you get a chance guy. to steal this. Like the uh, oldest man in the world. Even if you get this wrong, I'm coming right back to you. You know who I'm gonna say? Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Not really that close. The answer Seems was Julius Caesar. You oh, of so we're, like, we're a little recent. No, little I, recent. I, I, I took world history um, seven years ago. I wasn't That's alive fair. during this, so I don't know. You know? Uh, also fair. Also I just learned about Julius Caesar. I don't read the newspapers anymore. They yeah, give me too yeah, much exactly. stress. Yeah, yeah. Jacqueline, don't worry. I'm coming right back to your own history question. Thank God. I ask you, who is credited with inventing the oh. European printing press? Oh. You guys know this? Yeah, wait. Uh, I think so. I don't. Oh my god, I like, oh, did a wait, project on um, this in wait. high school. Is that different than the American one? Is I'm there genuinely guess. a difference? If they I specified so. European? Uh, oh, because um, I will say I specified European as he has invented, ooh, hint, he is credited uh, with inventing the printing press in general, but it is uh, okay, but kind of known technic. that the Chinese, okay. the ancient Chinese invented the first printing press. It's in okay. the back uh, of my uh, head. Um, I, uh, I, know, I know this is It's supposed brain. to be that name you never forget, yeah. but I forgot it. I, I was going to say <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Bell, but that's, Final no, guess. that's like the, t yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Bell seems to be able to take it. Wait, no, wait, I could steal it? You do get the chance to oh steal it. Oh my god, if, if this was a multiple spell. choice test, I would get it. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. No, when you see it. It would be a lot easier. No, when you see it. Something with a G. No, when you see it. You know no, when you see good. it. Good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. oh, Almost oh, there. What? Need to guess. No, 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 no. Don't encourage her. Good. Go, 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 gulag. I'm kidding. Um, um. No. Now I need a final guess. Oh my God. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna cry. I don't know. Good. Cry. Do it. Three, <laughs> two. Gun. Gunter. <laughs> <laughs> you're, yes. you're on the right track. Oh, it was Guten. <laughs> it was Johannes Gu Guten. See, I knew something wow. like that. As soon as you said Goo, I'm like, yeah. wow, I knew something like that. She was getting there. You know what you mean? For someone who learned this years ago, it's pretty impressive. But Val, I'm coming back to you for your next history question. I ask you, who painted the persistence of memory? Dude. Oh, I don't even know that. I don't even know this. Dude, who, who came up with these questions? Who's no, trying honestly, to get us? Who's honestly, trying to get us? I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. I would say it's not you. I'm throwing them under the bus. I'll remember this, guys. I'll Hit my this. line, guys. Hit my line. I have choice um, words. Yeah. Gonna see who things who like painted the persistence of memory? Correct. Um, someone. <laughs> someone did. Um, someone is correct, but not an answer. I don't, I'm not going to lie. I don't even know art, so. Um, Any guess? I, I'm going to go with Leonardo da Vinci. Good guess, unfortunately. Incorrect. <laughs> Danny, I'm moving on. I'm going to say that sounds like a pretty surrealist title. Whoa. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say Dolly. Dolly is the correct yeah, answer. Yeah, 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 Don't you, you guys know if you see it? It's one with all the melting clocks. Yeah. I literally was, I, I was going to say um, Monet, and I'm like, no, that sounds too weird. Too surreal. Wow. Too surreal. Wow. wow. That was yeah, that's there. awesome. Yeah, I'm breaking down the question. I'm going to thank the most thanked person at the, at the Academy Awards. God. God. There you go. Well, let's see if you can thank God for this next question, oh, Danny. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I'm coming right back to you. I ask you, what kind of nuggets did McDonald's sell for the chicken McNuggets in the 70s? Wait, there's no nuggets? This is definitely this a is different history. kind of question. Um, yeah, still history, technically. Yeah, you know, for sure. Correct. Um, <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> what? Um, I'm going to say they sold um, beef McNuggets. Beef McNuggets is a good guess. Disgusting. Unfortunately, incorrect. <laughs> Just wait till you hear what it actually is, no. Jacqueline. Uh, Jack, if it's like fish, I'm going to say fish. Fish, also a good guess. You guys are in the wrong food. If it's group. like spam or vegetables. Like, if it's like shrimp, I'll freak out. They sold onion nuggets. Ew. They tried to appeal to a vegetarian audience. It was a, supposed to be a spin on an onion ring. That's psychotic. Did not sell that well. And they said, screw it, we'll just put chicken in it. So yeah. I'm glad I wasn't alive for that. Clear, yeah. Yeah, clearly, That's dumb. Like, clearly, chicken was a better like, choice. They I definitely have. I think they should have made fish nuggets. Is this onion like rings already? People? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like a fish stick, you know? Or like yeah. a meatball. Yeah, I do a filet of fish. Yeah. That's what I was going I've had it before. Yeah. But Jack, I'm coming to you for your own question, the last go. question of round two for the night. I, I ask you, in which era 
in time did the dinosaurs live? Keyword being I believe it's prehistoric. Is that your final answer? I don't know if that's an era. I don't think that's an era. I'm not too sure. God, okay. Um, you know, like the, <laughs> like the dawn of time. Like, well, like, for example, right now, technically, we're living in the Anthropocene. And that's like the era of time. I do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I bet but you she is, knew that. She is right that we are living for the era. You knew that. Well, sorry? The Great Depression. The <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to go so with my many. original answer. Prehistoric. Prehistoric. That is a good guess, unfortunately incorrect. <laughs> Val, I'm coming to you for which era um, we <laughs> I used to have dinosaurs. Like I'm so dumb. Um, not medieval. Um. <laughs> oh, that would be is sick. That, right? I mean, medieval. No one no, can really um, write that. Is it that like pre-Big Bang? Like, you know? Before, before the Big Bang? I don't think. <laughs> you think dinosaurs before. existed before the universe? No, like, I don't know, guys. The I, Alpha and Omega. I don't even, the was, I'm not even going to say Rex. this, but. Um, oh, yeah, in no, which era that. in time do the dinosaurs live? It's going to be a guess, Val. I'm so bad. Dun um, she said prehistoric, right? She said yeah, that? she said prehistoric. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, I can't even think of like eras. Um, I don't know. Not Here, sure. No guess. Yeah, no guess. Is, it is the Mesozoic uh, era. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I was gonna guess Paleolithic. Yes. Dan Danny knew a little bit about. I knew a little sorry, bit. Sorry, I don't believe that. Yes, the, the Mesozoic like, era is divided the, into, I believe, the Triassic, Jurassic, and oh, the third I don't think we got that dinosaur uh, movie, like Mary's College Breath, like right right a little bit of everything, you know? Exactly, yeah, exactly. I got those, nothing. those breath requirements, exactly. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm really cruising tonight. Yeah, but don't worry, we do oh, still have, really? we do it. still have round three coming up, which oh. are worth 400 points. Is it still buzzers? And the wager. I know you guys know with your buzzers. And remember that triple wager round makes it so that's very much anybody's game. Yeah, no, it's anybody's game. I'm wagering that 100 points, all right. <laughs> Let's take a look exactly. at the scores at the end of round two. At the end of round two here, we can see Danny has jumped into the lead with 550 points. Val is close in second place with 525. Jacqueline is trailing behind with 100. But as I just said, round three are worth 400 points each. And we've got that triple wager round coming up. So it's still very much anybody's game. One question could turn it around. True. But before we get into that, let's get to know our contestants a little bit. Val, I'm going to come to you first. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. We know you're Val, but where are you from? What's your major? What do you think your best category is tonight? Um, I'm from New York. Uh, my major is media studies and production. Um, sorry, what was the last question? What, what do you think your best oh. category is here tonight? Remember, I, we still do have music and sports and I games coming I would up. say history. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> movies and television probably are my best, because that's the only thing I know. I haven't taken history in a really long time, guys. You could probably tell. <laughs> Um, if there's any math, then I'll do really bad on that, too. But, okay, well, yeah. we'll see how that affects you when we come up to that wager round. But, we'll see. <laughs> oh, that's why we have paper. Oh. I don't know. Yes, yes. We I thought there that. was going to be, like, math questions. Yes, who no, you guys will have to wager some points later oh. on. It gets a little intense. But, Danny, I'm coming to you next. Same thing. Tell me where you're from. What do you think your best category is here uh, tonight? I'm Danny. I'm from... Uh, Northern New Jersey, and I am a film and TV major. I, I think my best category is probably history, but specifically like American history. Like I don't know much about that Julius Caesar thing. I feel really bad about that library, but like I didn't know it. <laughs> um, but if it was like something about America, I probably would know it. Um, so I assume that's why you guessed Paul Revere for the. Uh, well, the yeah, because role. I'm thinking about because like you know he shook some stuff up. Fun fact: Paul Revere actually didn't warn the most people about the British invasion. It was I think Isaac Bissell. You're right. We had to so, write a poem go. about it. You learn, so. you learn something new every day on this there show. There you go. Jacqueline, I'm coming Smart to you now. Smart queen. Thanks. I'm Jacqueline. I'm also from Northern Jersey. I'm from the same town as Danny. Actually, went to high school together. Um, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Coming up between music and sports games. Oh, he doesn't games. want to know my major, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, no, <laughs> I'm clearly not a film and television major. I am a fashion design major. Um, design, not merch. Design, please. There, there's don't difference. Very, very there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Um, so what do you think between music and uh, sports and games coming up? Which do you think oh, you get a sports? Couldn't tell you. I mean, I'll be better than them at sports, but yeah, true. I, uh, it's not my best category. Yeah. I have no good category. <laughs> she, 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 she just bought a uh, hat with a hockey team on it. The yeah, so <laughs> maybe sports and games will be what it takes to turn the Should have worn the hat. It's definitely you information. information. You know, it wouldn't have matched my outfit. I'm a fashion major. Oh, right? you're right, you're right. All Fingers right. crossed. So Fingers crossed. we are going to move into round three. As I said, these are worth 400 points each, so literally one question could turn this whole game around. Oh, so damn, guys. we're starting off with music, as I said. Val, I'm coming to you first. I ask you, what is the lead single from Adele's third studio album, 25? What is the lead Bro, come on. Um, I don't know that album. Is that like the one that came out in 2016? I cannot give any hints, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Um, yeah, no, Jacqueline's absolutely right. I have no idea. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, she was 25? Okay, how old is she now? Let me turn to the back. Oh my god, just answer. Yeah, um, need to guess. Oh, okay, someone, <laughs> someone like you, I don't know. Someone like you is a good guess. It is an Adele song, unfortunately, incorrect. Danny, you get a chance to steal this. Um, rolling in the Deep. Also a good guess, also an Adele song. Also, unfortunately, <laughs> at, least we're, at least we're in the right lane. Same yes, the oh, answer was hello. Oh that. my god, the, the third, I'm so sorry, I forgot song. about that. She's been too busy losing weight. I forgot that hello. she like wrote songs. I can't even yeah. remember. I don't, I don't even know what she like she made now. Album. Or she just came out with that. She, she did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, good for her. I, I didn't get as much press as uh, Taylor's, which is unfortunate. Speaking of Taylor, Danny, I come to you. Oh, nice. Which band has been featured on two Taylor Swift albums, Folklore and Evermore? Um, I honestly, I don't really like Taylor Swift. Um. I refuse to listen to Where's that. Emily? <laughs> uh, folklore and Evermore. A band. A band. And it's featured on one song on each album. One song on each album. Um, the Lumineers. The Lumineers. I was going to guess, guess, guess that. I was, I was going to guess gonna that. Say that. I, I, I would like to hear a Taylor and Lumineers. I feel like that would be kind of true. I would, I would listen it to it. It seems like that vibe. It's unfortunately incorrect, but that, that would That's be a, a good guess. But Jack, I come to you for the potential I don't know. These are the two albums I refuse to listen to. That would put you at a slight disadvantage. Yeah. I'm gonna say the Jonas Brothers. That would also be sick. I would love right? that. Right? A little that ex, a ex are lover. You raising your can I? Can I? Do back can I guess? It won't get you any points. No, but you I certainly like, shout is it. Is it like oh, Bra so Bonnie Bear? It is. It absolutely is. Val does I not get I thought you said shout. Ronnie Bear. <laughs> Bonnie Bear. Oh, I thought he was a, just one person. I thought he was Bon Iver. No, Wait, this is a, he's a band. It, well, they are a band. I thought it was I, can't, a guy. I can't believe I knew that. I thought this man's <laughs> thought name was Vaughn and his last Von. name was Iver, but like turned out it's a band. Yeah, yeah, no, I thought Von that was a band. I thought it was one Wait, person. So the Jonas so Brothers wasn't so I just guess. No, the Jonas Brothers was unfortunately oh. incorrect. But Ronnie Bear but was. Jacqueline, I'm coming right back to you for your own That's question for oh, music. Okay. I ask you, which of Beyonce's two albums was accompanied by a film oh. of the same name? What? Lemonade. Lemonade is the correct answer. Let's go! Immediately, pretty much. No. I wonder if our audio is still Wait, that's the, only, that's the only album I know. <laughs> yeah. The only album you needed to know. That's the only yeah. album I guess. Val, I'm coming to you Tell for em. your second that music was question. Tight, Jack, wasn't I it? ask you which rapper Tell is em. featured on SZA's song, um, Doves in the Wind? Guys, I don't. Travis oh, Scott. No. Oh, Travis Scott. Is, I'm so sorry. I have guess, no idea. Unfortunately, incorrect. Danny, you get a chance to steal this. Doves one. in the Wind, huh? Well, I, don't think, I don't think I know that one. But if I was SZA. S Z A. I would probably want um I would I would want Kanye on my track. Kanye's also a good I, guess. Unfortunately incorrect. That's okay. Answer was Kendrick Lamar. Oh, that, that's oh, a good guess. Yeah, I, maybe I'd want him more than Kanye. Yeah, yeah. more than Kanye. I don't like Kanye. I I, I know I, I, I like saying, old. Like, he has a song. With maybe Kanye, I would want Kendrick so. more than Kanye. Kendrick more than Kanye. I should have thought about that more. <laughs> no, Kanye's on okay. a song with her. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Well, it's just don't not worry. that song. Danny, I'm I'm coming right back to you. <laughs> Your own question. I ask you, how old was Lord when her first hit single, <gasps> Royal, was released? 16 is the Let's correct go. answer. She was 16 and 11 months, I believe. That was like she a perfect question, question for you. We're Lord's biggest fans. We're Lord's biggest fans. I cut my hair because she did. Well, there you go. That, that clearly paid off. Certainly paid it off. Did. Uh, I wish I, I just wish I was her, you know? <laughs> Jacqueline, I'm coming to you for your own music I question. Shut up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's okay. Jack, what I'm going to eat for your next question. Oh, can't see I see nice. who won Best New Artist at the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards, which were in 2020. 2020. Oh. So that was not this year. That was not how this show works. Oh, wasn't it Megan The Stallion? It was Megan The Stallion. Yes! Oh you know it's your girl. You know it's your girl! <laughs> you know it's your girl! Megan The Stallion was the, the Best New Artist at the last um, Grammy. So, Jacqueline's quickly catching wait. up. And we're moving we're into 900. her category oh, no. now. Are you kidding With me? sports so and games. Sports. <laughs> so I'm coming to you, Val, for yeah. your first sports this and is, games question. This is where it ends. I ask you, what is the name of the final leg of the triple crown? I don't even know what that means. Um, what is the name of the final leg? <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys read what that it's says? It's a three-legged monster from Greek mythology. Really? Yes, that's why it's in sports yeah, and so games. Yeah, so what's the final I, leg I started of thinking about Percy Jackson. <laughs> so what's the final that? leg of it, Val? Come on. What is the name of the final leg of the, the triple, triple crown? Triple crown, huh? Um, Third leg. <laughs> rare, rare horse oh, racing question. Yeah, I'd say that with horse. Whoever racing. wrote this, guys. Third, third leg. Sorry, I don't. That's Some people final. like no horses, guess. Val. Third? I don't know. Third, unfortunately incorrect. Danny, you get a chance to steal. Um, this I'm gonna say the sprint. The sprint is unfortunately also incorrect. <laughs> Triple crown is a series of three famous horse races, oh. the third of which is the Belmont Stakes. Oh, what? Yeah, okay, that was my okay. next guess. No, I wasn't gonna get that, but that makes <laughs> sense. Kentucky Derby is one. I'm forgetting the second one. And the Belmont okay, that that like. Wow, I yeah. feel like a smarter person. No, yeah. See, like, that's what I said. You learn something we every did. day. On we this did. We did learn yeah. something new today. I learned a lot. 
Danny, I'm coming right back to you for your own question. Hello. See, which college has won the most basketball national championships? Definitely not Marist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Val. At least they made it to the. Um, they made it to the, the it soccer. Did they? Yeah. It's tomorrow. Well, they made it to, they the, made it to March Madness. Isn't the game tomorrow? I'm gonna say Lehigh. Lehigh is a good guess. Unfortunately, incorrect. So Jack, I'm coming for the potential uh, Duke. Duke, right? Duke also a good guess. Bama. Answer is UCLA. Oh, uh, okay. So I believe has. That was coming up there next. Yeah, I believe it has 11. UCLA but, beat Duke last year, and then that was not good. <laughs> but Jack, I'm coming right back to you. Okay. For your own question. I ask you. Who is the first golfer to successfully defend his master's I only title? know one golfer, and it's Tiger Woods. Well, that is unfortunately not the correct answer to this question, although he is a golfer. He is. Val, I'm coming to you for the potential um, steal here. She actually took my guess. Um, yeah, that's the only one I know. <laughs> does your dad golf? Um, you can say his name. <laughs> my dad does golf. Yeah, just say your dad's name on the internet. Um, dad? <laughs> <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Daddy? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> yes! Johnson is unfortunately incorrect, although I wish that was correct. <laughs> Answers Jack Nicholas was the uh, first. That's oh. Santa Claus's son, you know. Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah he, Christmas coming. He, uh, yeah, he was the first to win back-to-back -back Masters. One, one of three people this to do it. Getting fun. But, Val, I'm coming right back to you. Oh, God. I ask you, which quarterback <laughs> was on the losing side of the largest comeback in Super Bowl history? Was this like recent? <laughs> you can't recent. tell you. <laughs> there have only been like 55 of them or something. Um, so. Which quarterback was on the know. losing side of the largest comeback in Super Bowl history? Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning is a good guess. Unfortunately, incorrect. So Danny, I come to you for the potential steal. Tom Brady. Tom Brady is also a good guess. He was on the winning side. Yeah. Of the I, I, I would have guessed that. Nope, it was Matt Ryan. Carson Wentz also would have been a good guess. Matt Ryan's Atlanta Falcons. Blue, I believe it was a 27 to 3 lead at half. Did you know that? Wait, when, like when, when, was that? when was I that? When was that? That was 2016, 2017. I think my brother would know this. Recent. Oh, it was recent. It was recent. Well, Tom Brady was still with the Patriots, so. Yeah. Patriots no, Tom but there was like a lot of years where they were like losing and then they came back really, really nice. They do have a lot of comebacks. They but do. Not to the Giants. Not, just throwing okay. that out there. Go to the who? To the Giants. Never that came back to the You're a Giants fan? I am a Giants fan. Me too. Me too. Go Big Blue. Go Big Blue. Are you Danny? Yeah. Well, my family is, but I don't really okay. know Danny how. Dimes. Danny, yep. That's, you, what, that's what some people call me. Actually, Danny that's what one person calls That's what him. Nick Vate calls me. <laughs> Captain the ski team. He was on team. show. He won. Captain the yeah. ski team, he won. baby. He won. He did. I believe he won. Wow. Of course yes. he did. Game but recognizer Danny, game. I'm coming to you for your own sports and games question. Okay. I oh, see in baseball, who has their jersey, which is number seven, retired by the Yankees? Oh, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter's a good guess. Wait, no. Oh, I revoke it. I thought, I is thought they Babe retired. Ruth? Babe Ruth's also a good guess. Danny has oh, left not? the building. Oh, it's not, if it's, it's not Babe Ruth, okay, that make okay. you feel better. Yeah. I don't, it's I, Mickey I, Mantle. Oh, okay. Mickey Mantle is number Oh, wait. Is Jeter six? I believe Jeter's two. Two? Yeah. Producer yes. Jeter, Who's number six? two. six? I don't no, care. No, he's two. Is number two, Derek Jeter? He's yes, two. Yes, Derek Jeter's yeah. number two. Guys, I'm losing. This is like really embarrassing. Um, I'm Oh, Babe Ruth is 42. I don't know anything about sports. Right? That's Jackie Robinson. JK. I would, I would have guessed Jackie Jacqueline, Robinson. I come Fine. to you for the oh, last question of our regular rounds here. So in college football, which player famously had his Heisman Trophy stripped Nick due to accepting money from the school? Stripped due to accepting money from the school. Because he was being paid by the school, and therefore they took away his Heisman Trophy. Uh, um, football, huh? Collegiate football. That guy. <laughs> that, guy. that guy. Yeah. Guess on who no, that guy you're is. right. It was him. No, it was What's that, that guy. guy's name is? No, it was that girl, actually, you know? <laughs> um, no, I, I have no clue. No, no guess? Nope. All right, Val, you get a chance to steal this last question of the night. Olivia Jade. Olivia Jade is That's a great answer. Incorrect. Close, close, but incorrect. <laughs> answer is Reggie Bush. Oh, Bush. This, would, this would not happen now because... You, you can get paid now in college football, so. Yeah, you can. That's go bizarre. Don't you already go for free? Why don't they pay me for, like, being, good being here? Being here. They should, they should pay us for being here. Yeah, you know, like, no, this we is make this school. We're good model students. We're good model students. We're, we're, we're expanding our brain instead of our biceps. Sorry, we each have our own thing, but uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, yep. Get paid for it. Where'd you go? get paid to make clothes here, you know? Yeah, you, you should. should I should. You, you should. will when you join the working class. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of our regular rounds, Take a quick look at the scores here. I didn't even move. <laughs> we've got a big change on the scoreboard. In first place, we've got Danny with 950 points. <laughs> Jacqueline has moved into second place with 900 points. I'm still here. And Val is now in third I place with 525. It. But remember, we've got that triple wage round coming up right now. So it's still very much anybody's game. So awesome. you guys know the way this works. You'll wager points for this next question. 
If you get it right, you get those points. If you get it wrong, you lose those points. It's out of however many you have. So in first place is Danny. So Danny, you get to choose the first category that I'm everyone nervous. will be quizzed on tonight. OK. Choose the category. Uh, out of, so out of, out of the six categories, so out of history, movies, TV, literature, music, and sports and games. All three of you will be quizzed on the same question. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with history. All right, so we're going to start off with history. Jacqueline, you are in second place. You get to choose the second category out of those six. Um, crap. Oh, wait, do we <laughs> wager different amounts for di each yes, question? Yes, your score will update after every every question. Okay, but like, is it the same wager amount, or is it a different wager amount for each nope, question? Different, yeah. different okay. for each question. So okay. for history, uh, so and then like after, points after your points that. update, we'll come back to you and Beautiful. see. Beautiful. I'm going to say sports so that they oh can't get it either. All right, so history, then sports and games. See, that's strategy. People don't understand that. There's strategy to this game. I have Danny, the best chance so out of getting it out of the three of us, so I'm going to get it. Exactly. That's what I like to hear. Question. Thank yeah. you. Or that you're Val, lose. you choose the third question that everyone will be quizzed on based off of movies, TV, literature, and music. Um, TV. TV. All right. So we're going to start off with history, then I'll quiz you guys on sports and games, and then I will finish off with TV. So let's take a look at the scores again. You guys are going to wager points for history. Remember, Danny, you have 950 points to wager. Jacqueline, 900. Val, you've got 525. Remember, if you get this question right, you get those points. If you get it wrong, you will lose these points. Okay. So if you guys want to write your wagers down for the history question, once you guys are all set, give me a thumbs up. I'll read off the question. You guys will have 30 seconds to write an answer. All right. History, for however many points you guys chose to wager, I ask you, 30 seconds on the clock once I finish reading the question, what does the S in Harry S. Truman start, stand for? Excuse me. 30 seconds start now. Write your question, your answers down within those thirty seconds, and then we'll we'll show them at the end. The S in Harry S. Truman. Imagine it's just like an S. <laughs> Nothing. You guys have fifteen seconds left. Ten Did you seconds. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I thought you were just really confident. You guys have five, four, three. Two, one. I ask you to put those pencils down. Let's see what you guys wagered and what your answers were. Val, let's see. First. I had 100 and I got Steven. Val has wagered 100 points and wrote Steven. Danny, let's see what you got. Um, I wagered 100 points and put Sal. Danny. That's the name of my cousin that moved to Colorado. Do you think he was related to Harry S. Truman at all? No. We, we, <sighs> we, we come from a family of immigrants. OK, so probably not then. <laughs> probably not. Danny's also wagered 100. Jack, let's see what you wagered. I wagered 50 and Sylvester. 50 and Sylvester. That's so a, that's Val and Danny have practice. wagered 100 each. Thank you. Jacqueline has wagered 50. <clears throat> Val, you're going to kick yourself for what you said. If it's Steve, it. I'll leave. It, it does not stand for anything. His whole last name is S. I literally said that. Wait, I said that as a joke. That. So all incorrect and Wait, what? Harry S. Truman, his middle name is just S. I literally oh, is it, just it, S. It is just Stop S. That. It does not stand for anything. I said that. Like, I literally was joking. It Why did you write? It was I just a said it out compromise loud. Compromise between his two grandfathers, who's, <laughs> for, who's either the first or middle name is wow. both started with S. So they compromised and said, "Yeah, we'll just name the kid S." Yeah, we're tied now, boys. This is the worst thing in my life. Sure. So yes, no, as Jacqueline has pointed out, Jacqueline, Danny, you guys are tied with 850. Val has dropped down to 425. Ah. I'm going to be quizzing you guys next on sports and games. So if you want to wager not, not for me. based on that amount of points for the sports and games question, how many points do I have again? Sorry. As a reminder, Jacqueline has 850. Danny has 850. Val, you've got 425. Right. I'm already going to lose, so what does it matter? Let's so we're on sports and games. So if you guys want to give me a thumbs up once you've written your wagers down, Jacqueline all said, all right. Again, you've got 30 seconds to answer this question from sports and games for however many points you've wagered. I ask you, which poker legend is famous for winning back-to-back -back World Series of Poker main events with the infamously bad hand 10 and 2? 30 seconds. Do you need me to repeat the question? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. Which poker legend is famous for winning back-to-back -back World Series of Poker main events with the hand 10 and 2? You're looking for the name of the poker legend. Written I'm some ready. books. I'm ready. Famous for pulling us off. You guys got about half your time left. I literally just got this one. You guys want your last 10 seconds? No. No, no. I'm no? okay. No, all righty. Let's see those papers. Let's see what you wager. Well, I'm a little embarrassed. Now, See, Val has wagered 100, 100 points and How? written the name of the book and movie Molly's Game. That is, I can tell you right now that is unfortunately Wait, you incorrect. you wrote that? That was her guess. That's so the only poker thing I've ever points. thought of. Did you write Molly's Game? Molly's game. Oh, it's oh, with like oh. Jessica Chastain. Oh. It's about no, no, the Hollywood. I thought you wrote Hollywood the whole poker. sentence um, of what he said. I Dan has wagered. Uh, zero points, and I put oh. one-eyed Willie. One-eyed Willie. I didn't know you could do that zero. That was correct, actually. You should have wagered points. No, it wasn't. 
I was like, don't. That was silly. That's a pirate from the Goonies. You're like, um, Jack, let's see how many points I also you wagered made. zero. Also I zero. I should have done Harry S. Truman. I'm so dumb. Harry S. Truman, also incorrect. You guys were I, I, didn't, I thought you had to like, put a number. That was the only one. Danny, looks like we're still tied, boy. Guys, go home. Doyle Brunson. I really thought it was Molly's game. Oh my yeah, god. Him. Of course, I Doyle know, Brunson. Yeah. That was my yeah. next guess. Wait, what's this last So, Danny and Jacqueline are still tied with 850 points. Val has dropped down yeah. to 325. Oh, but wow. I'll come back. Let's see. For your TV question, you guys want to write your wages down. This will make or break the game potentially. TV? So, the category is TV. I just want to wager your points. Like I said, Danny and Jacqueline, you got 850. Val, you got 325. So, still technically, if you oh, a little bit of math, boy, okay. still anyone's game. <laughs> Can I like think this is hold on? Let me change his wager. All right, Val's changing her wager. Danny's got her wager down. <laughs> yeah. Jacqueline. I, I'm good. Jacqueline's good. Val, let me know All when right, you're good. I'm good. All righty. From TV for the game. Oh, I was like waiting. I ask you guys, which Beatle narrated the first two seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> oh my Timer God. Timer starts now. I will say. I'm oh, sorry. Can you repeat it one more time? Um, yes. Which Beatle narrated the first two seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine? Beatle spelled B-E-A-T-L-E. -E. In case that's a sort of hint. I'll say which which member oh, I was of like, the rock group the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> guys have about ten seconds left. Like I said, this will make or break the game, depending on what you guys wager. I'm gonna win a million dollars. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pencils down. Now, let's see what <laughs> you wager, what your I answer was. I said 900, was. I said Ringo Starr. 900 points? Ringo, you cannot wager 900. Oh, I can't? <laughs> no, you had 425 points. Did you want to wager it all? I'm not telling you if that's right or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll wager it all. Yeah, all right. She, she wanted to wager it all, so she wagered 425 <laughs> points. I just guess Ringo Starr. Um, Danny. I, I wagered zero points, and I said uh, Paul McCartney. Danny wagered zero points, said Paul McCartney. Interesting strategy. I, I wagered 400 and wrote Ringo Starr. 400 and Ringo Starr. The correct answer was Ringo Starr. Yes! Everyone gets points there. So let's take a look at it those final like scores here. It, yeah. it sounds Jacqueline like something he would do. has come in first place with 1,250. I still lost, so it doesn't matter. Danny comes let's in second go. with 850. Let's go. Val has moved up, but still in third place with 650. <laughs> I, Danny, I, how do you feel him. about that strategy? Tell, I, um, tell him. I feel fine about okay. that. I stand by that strategy. Um, however, I was between Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. Um, and again, I did the I did the 1605, 1607. Can I can I give someone a shout out? Absolutely. You want to give God or Steven Spielberg? No, a shout no. Out? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give Guerrero. Gabby Guerrero a shout out because she, she told me this. that last year. No, okay, so you knew that. I that did not. No, I knew the answer. Now, did you know that? Or did you no, know he just sounded like something. It's something like he would do. You God, know, Ringo like would Ringo do. would do that. Wait, you pull Ringo Starr too? Yeah. Not a girl. Ringo was in my head, I think, for that reason. But I was like, I feel like I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't ask him. But then I'm like, would Paul do that? And I'm like, Paul seems a like John silly. Lennon definitely would. I know. No. John Lennon too distinct. Yeah. And George Harrison would yeah. not. Well, George Harrison well, wouldn't do that. George Harrison was dead. Dead. Well, yeah. He's my favorite Beatle. George Harrison is. Yeah. No. I can't believe I just Paul McCartney just. He wouldn't. I don't know. He just didn't sound like he would do it. No. Congratulations again to Jack. I can't believe ah! Jack won. Remember you started off at the lowest points. <laughs> I had 100 points for Sean, guys. That's how it works. Right, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> what do we do now? Um, actually really embarrassed right now. <laughs> Thank you to Val, Danny, and Jacqueline for such a great game. As you can see, obviously, even if you start out low in in-person in quiz show here, and you just got to see it through to the end. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> Jacqueline, sorry. what a comeback. I think it's probably the best comeback we've had on this show. Are you serious? So, yeah, so ah! congratulations again yeah, Jacqueline. to Jacqueline. <laughs> She's very excited about that. Congratulations again to Jacqueline. <laughs> on to home oh, yeah. uh, if you are at Fox at Home, would like to be a contestant on this show, you can contact the MCTV oh God, so Instagram uh, at MCTV Marist. I uh, like, as I said on Instagram, you can contact me directly at mcarpenter7902 on Instagram. If you'd like to watch our South. previous episodes, they're all right here on MCTV HD on YouTube. But thank you guys at home for watching. Such a great game, playing along at home. <laughs> Thanks again to Val, Danny, and Jack for being such great contestants and, uh, and good sports about this. Everyone at home, <laughs> stay safe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.